Hi friends, welcome to another video of Big Tech Talk. In today's video, I will try to create a SQL database in Azure Cloud. So let's start the video. So open your favorite browser and go to portal.azure.com. And over here, search for SQL database. Now click on create. And you will see a banner with the free offer. The offer is for lifetime with any kind of subscription that is pay as you go or free trial. The offer has 32 GB of data storage and 100K of V course. And the offer will be valid for serverless setup only. So click on apply offer. Once you are done with the offer, then under project details, choose the subscription. So, I will choose pay as you go. And under the resource group, select a resource group name. If you don't have any resource group, you can create it from a create new and give the name of your resource group. I already have the resource group name, so I will select Azure pay as you go. Now, under database details, give some database name. So, I will give the name as my first Azure SQL DB. And for server, click on create new. Over here, we need to specify the server name. So, I will give the name as my first Azure SQL server. And the location I will choose as Asia Pacific Central India. And for the authentication method, I will set it as SQL authentication. Since I have used SQL authentication, I need to create an admin login and password. So let the admin be SQL DB admin. And I will set the password. And then click on OK and we have created the server. And over here, I will choose the auto pause of the DB if offer limit is reached. And then click on networking. And over here in the network connectivity, make connectivity type as public. And in the firewall rules, I will set yes to allow Azure services and resources to access this service. And yes, to add current IP address. Leave the rest of it as default and then click on security. Over here, leave everything as default and then click on additional settings. Since it's a demo, so I will load some sample data into my DB by using sample option and then click on tags over here. You can give tags to your DB. For the time being, I will leave it as blank. We are almost there to create the DB, but still the cost is zero. And then click on review plus create. Click on create. It will take some time to create the SQL database. Okay. So the deployment is completed. Now click on deployment details. You can see it has created a SQL server with the name as my first Azure SQL and then a SQL database as my first Azure SQL DB and then opening the firewall and allow the client type. Now let's access this DB from my laptop. For that, I have already installed SQL Server Management Studio on my laptop. And in the server type, I will select Database Engine. And for the server name, I will copy it from here and paste it. And in the authentication, I will choose 
SQL Server Authentication. Now I need to provide login ID and password. This will be the same which we gave while creating the SQL Server. And then click on Connect. And here is my SQL Server. Now click on Database. And then on my first Azure SQL DB. And then on Tables. And here are the sample tables. As you can see, we are able to create a SQL database in Azure Cloud and connect to it remotely via our laptop. So friends, we have reached to end of our today's video. If you have any question, let me know in the comment section. Do hit the like button and subscribe for more such videos. Thank you.